for you to enjoy these facilities and to even help us that these boys or these girls, these small small girls that are going about doing nothing. I'm happy that if this one comes, I will enjoy this one next time around. We will be into it, we will chip into it and we make we will have development within the children. Thank you so much, sir. And wish you well. We appreciate you, and um, our main aim is to create awareness globally. We want um, the districts of Kalu, the culture, the lifestyle, the beautiful languages, the beautiful youth, children, women, and men to be showcased to the diaspora, especially in Europe. And when we are thinking of that, we are also thinking of social economic growth in terms of what natural foods do you cultivate that can be good for export. So these are the things we are looking at and providing job opportunities for the theming youths in the community. Um, I found out in my research that Karu has almost 332,800 uh, people within the whole country. If not more. If not more. And I think people are giving back every day. You see how many? Yes. <laughs> Roughly 300 and... Only 300. It's more than... We're <laughs> so, almost a million. You're just, wow, a, it's, it's, just, it's, just, you're just expecting the, the number, the figure. Okay. So, for that <laughs> reason, you see, live, we are in a digital world and the fastest way of making income now or growth is leverage. Leveraging on people's time, people's effort, people's knowledge. So we believe in leveraging in economic growth. The youths, what do they do best that we can showcase to the world and that they can have a means of they want youths to stay on their own, to be independent, but doing something that is tangible and valid. So that is why we are bringing Cleveland Open Project here, sir, and we hope we have a successful endeavor in the future. Thank you so much. Long live um, Karu District, long live Clevenan, uh, nah, long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. We are the only one. Was inside the grassroots. Okay, okay, Real grassroots is not just going to the to, to cities and make them they are already there the, 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 the <laughs> and Yahoo is so everywhere now. Oh, Yahoo oh, was everywhere. Too. So please go to a grassroots and then let's get people. Engage, let's engage these boys so that they will run away from problems. They are into drugs. And even though you tell the hotel that ah, it's, it's, it's against their way, doing it, but if you check, once you have mindset that you say that you are, you are going to work for yourself, you will achieve something. By sitting in by every day, you see them. In the morning, if you follow, you, you've not done the real research. In the morning, you see our people here, I, I just shake my head. I'm not happy, I'm not comfortable. Though I have just come in. So as time goes on, the three heads, uh, village here, you get across the find them, come here, sit down with them, then iron out what you're going to do for the community. And also, we carry out what we call, and we do it in our line of work. We call it the needs assessment. So we it's basic needs assessment. What do the community need and what do they do presently so that we can open up and send it out and we can see countries that need this technical know-how or needs these resources. Then Cleveland and serve as a platform to provide an open market for them. If they are good in farming yam and they can farm the kind of yam that is good for export, why can't Cleveland seek for yam buyers in Europe? and here it becomes a source of export. This is what we, because we are in an era that is food, there's a lot of hunger, sir. So if we can have a marketing car that is specified for export, that is a breakthrough. And many youths will be engaged in these businesses. And there are many more, so let me not talk much. For me, for me, it's coming to be in this area. Where is the land from? That's another We have problem. By the time you tell someone's plot, you start farming, he says he wants to develop the place. Yes. Before you know what is happening, he has already uprooted your, your farm product and then yeah. where they are not being matured. Mm -hmm. So we have plenty of problems attending farming. Look at this. Only, tips. Hey, if you the only place I know people are somehow farming, even now bandits have taken over like Kujin, they farm there. Yeah. But now nobody there goes to your farm. 
Because you go there, you just carry, you pay ransom. Go to Buhari side, the same thing. Go to Nasra. Nasra. So, 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 so,